Hey y'all, welcome back to Bible Talk. I'm so glad that you were able to come on here today. Bible Talk is all about you, you, you. The uncensored, uncut, uncomfortable truth through the word of God. Hey y'all, in this Thursday, we're getting ready to get into something new. It's cuffing season. It's cuffing season. Tis the season of cuffing season. And I had to sit down today because I wanted to talk to you one-on-one today. A one-on-one conversation. I'm concerned about the cuff. And I want us to break loose of it today and get to right relationship. That is what this series is about. So this is getting ready to be my favorite, my favorite series, y'all, because somebody is going to get into something right today. After you leave here, you will never think about relationships the same. I promise you that. So no more booty calls, no more Netflixing and chilling, none of that. Welcome to part one of the cuffing season. And let me explain a little bit about cuffing season. I know we have these different um, perceptions about cuffing season, but I'm going to give it to you how God gave it to me. Cuffing season, number one, is a vulnerable, dangerous season. And, and whether you know it or not, you probably have participated in this in this activity that the world participates in. Whether you know it or not, married or single, single or married, at one point, you probably have engaged in this activity. So nobody's exempt from the cuff. Nobody. And this is the season that wrong relationships are getting ready to come to an end today. It's getting ready to come to a stop. We are getting ready to avoid the cuff. No excuses. That is the thing for this year. No excuses. This is the exchange of the exes today. I'm going to teach you how to go from cuffing to courting. Based upon the word of God, somebody say cuffing to courting today. Somebody's tired of the ex-boyfriends, the ex-lovers, the sidekicks, the side pieces. Somebody's tired of that. Somebody's tired of doing the same old thing season after season. God said, no, no more today. We will learn how to go from what? Cuffing to courting. So let's get into the definition. The Urban Dictionary defines cuffing season. Come on, stay with me. We got to go to the Urban Dictionary. <laughs> the definition is cuffing season is the cold season when everyone's coupling up. So you settle for a new boyfriend, girlfriend, or an affair that's way below your standards. Or a second definition in the Urban Dictionary was during the fall and winter months, people who would rather normally be single or promiscuous find themselves along with the rest of the world desiring to be cuffed or tied down by a serious relationship. It said it's a desire. That's the definition. And desires are really real, y'all. It's real. And because of loneliness, we put ourselves in situations that we normally wouldn't put ourselves in because we're trying to fill a, a void. We're trying to fill a gap. We're trying to fill an empty space. So what do we do? We go try to get cuffed down. We try to get binded or bound down by something that should not be. But this is what I want you to know. If we get positioned accordingly, okay, you will go from cuffing to courting because see it's only two ways if you do not get positioned right you will not go from cuffing to courting you will go from being cuffed to promiscuous so but but you got to get positioned right you got to be firm and steady and not wanting to be either okay so so either we get positioned right or you're going to either go from cuffing to being promiscuous. Come on, some somebody's tired of both. Somebody said, I don't even want either one of them. I want to learn how to be positioned well. 
So, this is really what cuffing season usually looks like for most. So, you do this thing where you re recruit a girl or a guy. Okay, you it's, it's the beginning of November. It's getting cold outside and, and you, you kind of going through this season, no change. And so, you recruit a guy or a girl. You, you come to this conclusion where you want to do this Netflix and chill. You have sex, and then a few months down the line, when it warms up, y'all cut ties. That's what it looked like for most people. And I'm somebody, most people have done this same scenario. You have been in this scenario before, married or single. Remember, the cuff is not exempt to one single cat category. You'll find yourself... Right in that category if you're not careful. So, this is what we have to do. Because we're trying to get away from, from filling voids because of loneliness and, and desperate needs of feeling warmth. Because that's with that cuffy. You want to feel the warmth. You want to feel the love. We're going to try to avoid that. And science says... Come on, stick with me, y'all. Science says if you stay cool, you won't be a fool. <laughs> if you stay cool, you won't be a fool. So I'm getting ready to give y'all some tips. Because remember, we are avoiding the cuff. Today's avoidance of the cuff. First tip to avoid the cuff is keep it outside. Stay cool, be cool. So it starts with our decisions of not inviting people into our space into our homes that's it starts there let's start with rule number one keep it outside you especially in this vulnerable season remember this is a vulnerable season you're in a vulnerable state so you want to make sure you keep all things outside your house don't tempt yourself for the temporary you want to avoid the temporary see my mother used to have this rule when i was a kid that we weren't allowed to have company come on past the porch and sometimes past the sidewalk the rule still applies in adulthood keep them at the sidewalk keep them in the cool keep them in the cool the cool climate this is science i'm getting ready to break something down to y'all the cool climate is key to not getting cut you have to make sure that when you communicating with people that you keep it in the cool climate this helps you not make warm decisions. Okay, so second tip is drinking and eating cool things help cool your feelings. So listen, check this out. Studies show you are less likely to attach to a romantic source if you sip on cold drinks versus hot drinks while engaging in a romantic setting. Ooh. Come on, hold on. Let me explain this to y'all. Let me say it again. Studies show, for instance, when watching a romantic movie, they actually did a study on this. While you were drinking or somebody was drinking, some people, a group of people they did the study on, while drinking something cold, it did not allow them to attach too much to the emotion that's in the movie. So the cold causes your strings of your heart not to be pulled on so much. This is a study. This is good to know while you're out on a date too. Drink some cold. I think somebody better go get a cold Coke right now and hit block on Justin right now. Keep it cool. Cool off. And when you start to get attached and your emotions get too high, get a cold beverage and a, and a chilled entree and let your insides die down. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. This is a study. Now, a cold drink or cold food doesn't work when you are watching a thriller, an action, or a comedy. It doesn't work. Because the excitement of the three rises your temperature level already by itself. So that makes it enough to just keep you comforted. The thriller, action, 
or a comedy. So my suggestions are that you replace thrillers and actions and comedy for romance and sex. Come on, come on. This is the replacing of the exes today. So what I suggest is that we commit to watching and attending things like thrillers, actions, and comedy instead of entertaining ourselves with the things that the flesh desires. Come on, this is for people who are willing to step outside the cuff right now. This is for people who no longer want to be in bondage right now. Do in exchange. So attend those things, watch those things, and don't uh, entertain yourself with the things that, that will keep you in the cuff. No more handcuffs today. No more handcuffs. And, and this is even for, if, if you want to go out on a date and you, you really want that person to come over, do something creative. This is COVID land right now, y'all. So you could do a virtual movie. No more Netflix and chilling together. Let's do an exchange of the cuffs. Get creative. Get creative with the cuff. We want to replace cuffing for courting today. Put it on ice today. Let's separate the hot from the cold. It's something about the coolness that God shows up in the cool of the day, in the coolness of your heart and of your mind and of your space. In Genesis 3 and 8, God spoke to Adam and Eve in the cool of the day. He showed up in the cool. God shows up and speaks to you in the cold areas of your life. In the coolness, he showed up. It's something about the cool. And I, and I thought to myself, why wouldn't God pick the hot days to speak to them? It's because he knew he could, he could get better results in the coolness. He knew he could get better results in the cool of the day. Somebody go get a cooler right now. Somebody go get cooled off right now. Because it's something about to happen in the cold areas of your life. Summer is on its way. If you cancel the cuffs right now and just put it on ice today, then, then courting is around the corner. Put the cuffs on the ice today. And Proverbs 25 and 13, it says this, as the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that sent him. For he refresheth the soul of his masters. So, in other words, he compares the coldness to being faithful and refreshed. I promise you, if you stay in the cold, you will develop faithfulness and you will be refreshed. You will be renewed. You will have different thoughts about what you want to do with your life, what you want to do with your space. This is setting you up to be renewed and to be faithful. You need those things to build a relationship with yourself. To build relationship with a, another partner. Come on. We, we want to do the exchange from cuffing to courting today. So we might be cold for a little while, but let's put God in our situation today. And allow him to just stand in the winter months. The winter months are the loneliness. The depression that we feel, the breakups, the separation, the cheating, the infidelity, those are winter months. And God said, I'm standing right here with you. I'm in the gap with you. If you just put it on ice today, put it on ice. If we stay incubated, if we stay in the incubator of coolness right now, I promise you, new ideas will hatch. New living conditions will hatch. A, a new face that's supposed to be for you will hatch. If you believe these words, if I integrated science and God together, because see, I want y'all to know that it's some practical things that we can do to stay cool. It's some practical things we can do. And the word of God backs up what science said. We need both. We need the practical and we need God. God is for us. We were created in his image and he wants us to be just like him. He wants us to have right relationship. He wants us to have the desires of our heart. So we will get that today if you put the cuffs on ice. Let's go from cuffing to courting today. 
if you do it, if you do this, you will go from cuffing to courting in no time. No time. Come on, let, let's just pray out really quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you today because we will go from cuffing to courting. No more going from cuffing to being promiscuous, oh God. No more different partner this, different partner that. No more of that. No more of I, 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 I'm married and, and I got to have this partner, another extra partner because I feel insecure, insecure or I don't feel loved inside of my marriage. No, we will get right relationship today. We will be faithful today. We will be renewed, oh God. Hallelujah. Give us an exchange, oh God. Hallelujah. Give us the right things to do and say. When we're by ourselves, oh God, hallelujah, give us strategy, oh God. We will have those things, oh God, hallelujah, creating us a clean heart and renewing us a right spirit, oh God. We will go from cuffing to courting in no time with your help. We love you and we give you all the praise. Amen. And if you believe these words that have just came out of my mouth, this prayer, God said that, that you can come to him today. You can accept him today and he will give you more, more ideas, more strategy than what I just gave you. If you allow him to step in to your space, he said that he chose you. He chose you from the very beginning. You just have to allow him to come in. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you can do it right now. You can do that right now. That means you have to make a confession. You have to make a confession. And also, if you have fell off for a little while and you need to come back home, God said you could do that today too. This means that you haven't been at church for a while. This means that you, you haven't prayed in a long time. God said just come back home because these first steps of accepting Jesus Christ is your first main step in getting right relationship. This is how we understand how to build right relationship with our husbands, with our wives, with uh, the, who God has for us later on down the line or even tomorrow. Hey, I believe somebody is going to go from cuffing to courting tomorrow. Who is standing with me on that word? Come on, let's accept Jesus Christ right now as our personal savior. Let's uh, gravitate towards him. Let's come back home. If you want to do that today, just raise your hands with me. And if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, then you're saved. God said that you have now entered into his court. You let him in and he's so pleased with you. If you believe these words that have just came out of my mouth, type it, I believe at the bottom. Come on, type, I believe at the bottom. If you just type, I believe, you are now rocking with Jesus Christ. You are now with Jesus Christ. You off to a good start. Come on, come on. Somebody else is going to type, I believe, before we get off this line. After we get off this line, share the message because somebody needs to go from cuffing to courting today. Hey, y'all, we're going into a whole new series. If you stick with me, we're going somewhere. Peace.